good morning friends so this is my next lecture on GOC general organic chemistry and today we are going to discuss the next point from the GOC that is the acidic strength acidic strength now as far as acidic strength is concerned first going to discuss about the acidic strength first you have to know something about acid something about acid so what is meant by acid yes. according to different theories Acid can be defined by means of different ways. Acid is defined by different ways. So first one that is by means of uh, Arrhenius theory. First by means of Arrhenius theory. Arrhenius theory. Acid is defined as according to Arrhenius theory as any substance. Any substance is called as an acid if it gives if it gives H plus ion in aqueous solution if it gives H plus ion in aqueous solution then such all substances we call as a acid according to Arrhenius theory according to Arrhenius theory so if you consider example suppose HCl is there in aqueous solution if you dissolve HCl it gives H plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous okay Cl minus aqueous means HCl is the acid because it gives H plus in water H plus in water if you consider H2SO4 if you consider H2SO4 aqueous then after dissolution of H2SO4 in water, you use twice H plus aqueous plus SO4 to minus aqueous. Okay, again it gives H plus. So, mind well, Arrhenius theory, according to Arrhenius theory, any substance which use H plus in aqueous solution, they will call that substance as a acid. And simple definition, that is H plus in aqueous solution. Now, next one definition that is given by uh, bronsted lowry theory. Second one, that is means inside. Bronsted Lowry theory. So, as far as Bronsted Lowry theory is concerned, or according to Bronsted Lowry theory, or simply Bronsted theory, acid is the any substance. Acid is the any substance which are proton donor. Proton donors are the acid. H plus proton donors are called as an acid according to Bronsted Lowry theory, or simply Bronsted theory. Now, consider if you consider a uh, that is the ammonia, ammonia plus hydrochloric acid plus hydrochloric acid. Then here hydrochloric acid, isn't it? Hydrochloric acid HCl, it donates proton to ammonia. It donates proton to ammonia. And after donation of proton H plus to ammonia, it becomes NH4 plus plus Cl minus. It becomes NH4 plus plus Cl minus. Remember well. So this HCl is the acid. HCl is the acid. After giving H plus proton to ammonia, it converts into Cl minus. Cl minus. So remember well, the acid after giving proton to base or other substance, the remaining portion, the remaining portion of that acid which is left, that portion or that part is called as an conjugate base. That part is called as a conjugate base. It is very important. Okay, conjugate base one acid HCl. After giving H plus to ammonia, it converts into NH4 plus and Cl minus left. This Cl minus is called as a conjugate base. Okay, conjugate base. It is simply conjugate acid base pair. Conjugate acid base pair one. Isn't it? Okay. So this is Bronsted Lowry theory. According to Bronsted Lowry, acid is any substance that we call the in which there is a proton donation takes place. Or proton donors are simply acids. Isn't it? Then third one. Then third one that is the According to modern concept, that is the Lewis concept. According to modern concept, that is the Lewis theory. So, according to this theory, acids are the electron pair acceptors. Electron pair acceptors are called as an acids. Electron pair, those substances which accepts electron pair from others, they are termed as acids. We are not speaking about the base here. Isn't it actually opposite uh, things are called as an base? But we are not thinking here this because we are going to only study today acidic strength. So the electron pairs are the acceptors. Now, if you consider example of that is the Lewis base. Now consider that is the suppose uh, ammonia H3N, isn't it? Plus one electron deficient species suppose boron trifluoride. Boron trifluoride. Ammonia it contains lone pair of electron. It has possesses lone pair of electron. Now the lone pair of electrons are donated to electron deficient boron. In DF3 central atom is boron which is electron deficient. So lone pairs are here transferred. Isn't it? Lone pair is transferred and results in the formation of H3N-BF3. 
बी एफ थ्रेड ओल्ड कंसेप्ट ओल्ड कंसेप्ट शोज कॉर्डिनेट डेटिव बॉन्ड इज देयर ओके डेटिव बॉन्ड इज देयर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज फॉर्म कॉम्प्लेक्स इज फॉर्म बट नाउ डेज इट कैन बी ऑल्सो रिटर्न एज एन एच थ्री इट इज प्लस एंड बी एफ थ्री माइनस बी एफ थ्री माइनस सो दिस इज द कंपाउंड फॉर्म बिकॉज इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर डोनेशन टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम नाइट्रोजन टू बोरोन फ्रॉम नाइट्रोजन टू बोरोन इज इट दैट्स वाई देर इज द कॉर्डिनेट और डेटिव बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म सो दीज आर द थ्री कंसेप्ट बाई मीन्स ऑफ विच वन कैन डिफाइन एसिड वन कैन डिफाइन एसिड बट इफ यू कंसिडर द डिफरेंट एसिड्स डिफरेंट एसिड दैट इज वी नो दैट इट्स यर नाइट्रिक एसिड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एसिटिक एसिड पर क्लोरिक एसिड एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स बोरिक एसिड एक्सेट्रा ऑल डिफरेंट एसिड्स हैव डिफरेंट स्ट्रेंथ डिफरेंट एसिड्स डिफरेंट एसिड्स हैव डिफरेंट स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स आर डिफरेंट isn't it they are not equal different acids have different strengths one isn't it so as different acids have different in the strength which one is more which one is less yes that can be decided by means of by means of uh, some scales are there to decide the which one is strong which one is the base Le uh, weak acid one so simply two scales are there two scales are there before that just consider ha is the acid and if it dissociate to give suppose h plus Plus a minus H plus plus a minus, isn't it? So if you write the one scale, that is the pKa value, the Ka value, then if you write the acid dissociation constant by applying the equilibrium constant Ka, Ka is equal to concentration of H plus into concentration of a minus divided by concentration of HA, divided by concentration of HA, isn't it? Divided by acid dissociation constant. Just we apply for this reaction and we return. the reaction the concentration of product divided by concentration of reactants now if you observe the equation then the acid which gives the acid which gives more h plus ions okay the acid which gives more h plus ions then we consider that acid becomes stronger that acid becomes stronger means when we say that acid is stronger when it gives more number of h plus ions isn't it when it gives more number of h plus ions now just uh, look at the equation look at the equation If this acid is considered as stronger, when it gives more H plus ion, when it gives more H plus ion, means when concentration of H plus ion is more. If concentration of H plus ion is more, then automatically K value will be more. So K A value will be more. So K value will be more, and that acid, that particular acid, we considered as a, it becomes strong. It becomes stronger. So simple relation is that if more concentration of H plus ions, more the number of H plus ions, K value will be more. Decision constant, acid decision constant. Automatically, that acid will be strong. Automatically, that acid will be strong. And in vice versa, in the sense, if less concentration of H plus, less K value, acid will be weak. Acid will be weak. So this is the one scale to represent the strength of acid. Strength of acid. Another scale that is the pKa value. That is the pKa strength. So pKa is nothing but simply it is negative log to the K. Negative log of K. Negative log of K. So, as there is a negative log of K, in the sense there is a inverse relation between pKa and that is the acid dissociation constant K. Acid dissociation constant K. Means if K will be more, pKa will be less, and vice versa, and vice versa. So, for this case, if K is more, acid strength will be more or stronger. Then, in the sense here we can say for strong acids, for strong acids. That is the value of pKa will be smaller. Value of pKa will be smaller for strong acids, and similarly for strong acids, for strong acids, that is the Ka value will be more. Ka value will be more. So both these two values or these two, uh, that is the relation. Acid which value is the relation Ka value. If it is more, it will be strong acid. And if pKa is given for different acids, and they ask arrange the Uh, following acids in the increasing or decreasing order of their acidity, then pK whose value of pK is less, it is considered to be stronger. It is considered to be stronger one. If k and pK values are given, if k and pK values are given, isn't it? Now, uh, this this is about the uh, scale to represent the acidity of acids k and pK, isn't it? But uh, this is only about in case of acids. Means like which which are the acids that is uh, we consider that it is the acetic acid, formic acid, acetic acid, carboxylic acid family and all these things, so, isn't it? But in organic chemistry, organic chemistry we are going to discuss the one most important point that is the acidic proton. That is acidic.
proton or acidic hydrogen acidic hydrogen so what is meant by acidic hydrogen acidic hydrogen because acidic hydrogen as far as concerned those hydrogens are termed as acidic hydrogens which is directly attached with most electronegative atom in compounds okay those acid, those hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms are termed as acidic which are directly attached which are directly attached to most electronegative atom in molecule or compounds ja ja molecules madhe kiwa compounds madhe हाइड्रोजन एटम डायरेक्टली मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव एटम अटैच अल सो इट टर्म दैट दैट हाइड्रोजन मस्ट बी एसिडिक इन नेचर दैट हाइड्रोजन मस्ट बी इन द एसिडिक नेचर आइदर दिस हाइड्रोजन इज अटैच विथ हेलोजन्स हेलोजन इट मे बी क्लोरिन इट मे बी ब्रोमीन इट मे बी आयोडीन इट मे बी फ्लोरिन इट मे अटैच विथ नाइट्रोजन इट मे अटैच विथ ऑक्सीजन इट मे अटैच विथ सल्फर इजेंट इट इजेंट इट इट इवन इट अटैच विथ कार्बन विथ डिफरंट हाइब्रिडाइजेशन स्टेप With a different hybridization state, okay, with a different hydrogen state. So in all these cases, this hydrogen is termed as acidic hydrogen. All these cases, hydrogen is termed as acidic hydrogen. So most important point that is acidic hydrogens are those which is directly attached with most electronegative atoms. Even hybridized, different hybridized carbon atom, that is sp3, sp2, or sp1. Isn't it? Okay. This is about acidic hydrogens. Now, why we have to study this point one? Because if you consider to arrange the acidic strength then it is uh, practically not possible to memorize all the uh, acids values of k and pk isn't it practically is not possible one to know all the values of k and pk to remember by heart one so one uh, one logic think must be applied to that molecule to decide the acidic proton or to decide the acidity or acidity of that molecule so, now for that purpose for that purpose we have to some points okay on which we can study the acidity of acids one acidity of point acids one. before that just consider one second suppose acid ha is there and if it ionizes as h plus plus a minus h plus plus a minus isn't h plus plus a minus now uh, our general our previous idea is that if it gives more number of h plus it is more acidic if it gives less number of h plus it is weak acid one but it is it, it, it must be practically approach then how much number of h plus are there present in solution or less or more it's practically approach means we have to determine practically isn't it practically it is not possible to determine every time practically so for that purpose without practical we can say that whether it is strong or weak one isn't it for that purpose now just if you observe the acid a this acid it gives h plus and one remaining part that part is called as conjugate base just we studied in the definition of bronsted lowry theory it is conjugate base it is conjugate base of acid conjugate base of acid it is the simply anion mostly anion because when uh, h plus is removed from substance isn't it mostly anions are formed negatively charged carry okay. now if we consider the when this conjugate base or anion is stable when conjugate base or anion is stable more stable than it is more stable than acid itself acid itself when it is this conjugate base or anion is more stable than acid itself then it is easily formed then it is easily formed as this acid dissociates to give h plus and a minus and this a minus suppose it is more stable than acid then this a minus easily formed it eagers to gives this h plus ion from acid itself isn't it acid itself so more the number of h plus ions when stability of anion is more when stability of anion is more when stability of anion anion is more stable when anion is more stable then it gives more number of h plus ions okay so for that purpose we have to check we have to check the all the parameters all the parameters that uh, that decides the stability of stability of anion anion ki stability all sagla parameters ne check karayche and those parameters which are responsible for the more stable anion in that case the acid will be stable in that case acid will be strong acid will be strong so remember well there is the uh, strong acid strong acid always forms always forms stable anion stable anion strong acid always forms stable anion as strong acid always forms stable anion in the sense if acid is strong then it forms stable anion so as anion is stable in the sense acid dissociate to give more h plus so more h plus in this acid is strong and if anion is unstable suppose 
if this anion is unstable then in that case acid does not dissociates one because it does not goes into unstability one isn't it if it is more stable itself in the acid it does not dissociate to give unstable a minus one in that case number of h plus are less in the sense it is weak in the sense it is weak one so remember well only you have to consider the point there is a strong acid always forms stable anion and we have to check the by applying all electronic factors which we already studied one by applying all these factors we have to check only the stability of anion if more the stable anion acid will be more stronger acid will be more stronger if the less the stable anion stability of anion is less then that acid is weak that acid is weak then what are those factors on which the stability of anion depends stability of anion depends on okay so number one that is the factors that de determines the stability of anion factors factors that determines factor that factors that determines stability of stability of anion on what factors or what are the factors that determines the stability of anion so number 1 number 1 that is the electronegativity of electronegativity of electronegativity of atom which is directly attached which is directly attached with hydrogen with hydrogen okay that is electronegativity of atom which is directly attached with hydrogen that is we have to consider the electronegativity of anion okay or that is the atom carrying negative charge atom carrying negative charge that is electronegativity of atom carrying negative charge or electronegativity of atom which is directly attached with hydrogen in molecule now remember well this concept is applicable only in a period in a period from left to right only in a period from left to right one isn't it if if atom that carries negative charge if it is more electro negative then it will be more stable then it will be more stable remember if atom carrying negative charge is more electro negative then that anion will be more stable that anion will be more stable so just consider one example suppose if methane is there ammonia is there water is there and suppose hf is there and hf is there so in all these cases in all these cases actually these are the carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine all these are from a uh, same period all these are from same period so actually the electronegativities of carbon to nitrogen nitrogen to oxygen and oxygen to fluorine electronegativity increases electronegativity goes on increases from left to right the electronegativity increases electronegativity increases okay from left to right one isn't it so just remove the one protons from each cases one just remove the one proton from each cases one so if you remove one h plus it forms ch3 minus here also remove one minus h plus it becomes nh2 minus remove one more here proton minus h plus it becomes oh minus it becomes oh minus remove one h plus it becomes f minus it becomes f minus now see here criteria atom carrying negative charge if that atom is more electronegative then it becomes stable it becomes most stable in that case electronegativity increases in this direction so in this case fluoride is more electronegative so in all these cases fluorine fluoride ion is most stable rather than oxygen oh minus then nitrogen then carbon so stability of these anions are like this stability of anion stability of anion order is like this and as stability of anion in the sense if hf dissociate to give stable anion in the sense hf has to dissociate to give this stable anion then it gives more number of h plus but in this case methane methane after dissociation or after ionization of methane to h plus it forms ch3 that is the anion of uh, carbon ion okay which is unstable which is unstable only because electronegativity of carbon is less electronegativity of carbon is less so in that case yes there is a less stable so order of the anion is like this and same order is for acids one that is hf h2o ammonia and methane so this is the acidity order for periods uh, across period from left to right isn't it okay then the next one that is we have to consider the next criteria that is the second one that is the size of atom size of atom which is directly attached which is directly attached 
which is directly attached with hydrogen or that is the size of negative atom that is amine size of negative atom that is amine and remember well, again this is applicable only in a group from top to bottom from top to bottom it is applicable is it now see one example just before that the more the size more the size of anion or larger the anion larger the anion more stable that anion okay means more charge means larger anion accommodate negative charge very easily that's why larger anion it will become more stable it will be more stable so consider example suppose if you consider it is the hf hcl hbr and hi okay hi so actually this is the top to bottom sequence top to bottom sequence fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and their corresponding uh, acids were taken if you remove the h plus ions in all these cases if you remove h plus ions minus h plus ions in all the cases then it forms f minus here it forms cl minus here it forms br minus and here it forms i minus here it forms i minus now here larger anion stable that anion in the sense all these cases size size factor goes on increases from top to bottom that size factor increases in the sense i minus will be more stable than br br minus will be more stable than cl minus and cl minus will be more stable than f minus so that's why stability of anion is like this stability of anion is like this and same uh, that is the uh, factor or the order for the corresponding acids hi hbr hcl applicable only in a group top to bottom only in a group top to bottom isn't it okay then third factor that is the third factor that is very important because actually these are the two primary factors uh, okay simple factors when only size and electronic value is there one okay then third factor that is the resonance that is the resonance now resonance actually resonance means what what is the necessity of resonance factors uh, stability of resonating structures points to draw the resonating structures all were studied already in the resonance separate point okay now if you consider resonance factor uh, if more the resonating structure of that anion if anion is stabilized by more resonating structure then we say that it is more stable it is more stable okay now just consider simple example if you consider that is the r dash c double bond oh it is carboxylic acid and suppose r dash s double bond o double bond o oh it is sulfonic acid it is sulfonic acid okay out of this two which one is the stability uh, more stable we have to decide now first remove the h plus ions here from here if you remove the h plus ions structure becomes r dash c double bond o o minus isn't it in this case also remove the h plus ions okay if you remove the h plus ions then r dash s double bond oxygen double bond oxygen single bond oxygen minus isn't it now here a double bond b c have negative charge resonance is possible so in this way there is a resonance so structure becomes like this r dash c single bond oxygen double bond oxygen so there are one and two so there are two rs structures so two resonating structures are there two reason and these two resonance structures are equal rs remember well equal rs both are equal no there is a change c one o minus here c one single o minus double bond oxygen double bond oxygen so there are two equal rs are there now in this case if you consider a double bond b c have negative charge a double bond b c have negative charge so like this there is a resonance so r dash s single bond oxygen double bond oxygen double bond oxygen this is one structure this is one structure one more structure i would like to write here that is the if it comes here it goes down r dash s double bond oxygen single bond oxygen double bond oxygen so these are the two three resonating structure there are three resonating structures there are three resonating structures so as there are three resonating structure in the sense it is more stable it is more stable okay three three equal rs again there are three equal rs three equal rs remember well see structure r s yes, double bonded oxygen two double bonded oxygen one single bonded oxygen here also two double bonded oxygen one single bonded two double bonded oxygen one single so there such structures are called an equal rs and equal rs are always more stable than non equal rs the non equal rs which studied already So in this case, stability of sulfonic acid is more than carboxylic acid. Than carboxylic acid. Now one more point. Just if we consider the stability of stability of suppose uh, like suppose acetic acid and suppose benzoic acid.
and benzo i guess okay if you consider the stability of these two remember well if you remove just already discussed if you remove one proton h plus then it becomes minus it becomes minus and it has only one resonating structure it has only one resonating structure means two resonance equal rs but in this case in this case if you remove proton it becomes o minus it becomes o minus and as it becomes o minus as it becomes o minus it has yes resonating structures are there resonating structures are there okay this comes out here and this comes out here means charge distribution takes place one and there is a resonating structures are obtained more so in this case benzoic acid will be more stable benzoic acid will be more stable as compared with this yes acetic acid as compared with acetic acid remember okay then there is one more point that is the resonance as far as concerned what is the if you consider a phenol or simply okay phenol isn't it actually uh, we are going to discuss this acidic strength in aromatic compounds separately aromatic compounds uh, acidic strength we are separately going to discuss in the next lecture because all these things at the one lecture this might be confusing okay? so so this is the resonance uh, third factor okay then fourth factor fourth factor we are going to discuss here what is the now fourth factor that is the inductive effect inductive effect inductive effect okay as far as inductive effect is concerned inductive effect is concerned now see how inductive effect is very important here now just consider an example suppose acetic acid ch3coh okay just i will write the structure like this suppose ch3 dash c double bond o oh suppose one hydrogen is replaced here okay and if i write a chlorine here cl ch2 c double bond o oxygen one more hydrogen so simply just compare in this two first structure okay now in the first and second structure in first and second structure which one is more acidic which one is more acidic so in this case in this case if you fire if you remove the one h plus ions minus one h plus ion the structure becomes ch3 dash c double bond oxygen single bond oxygen and here we remove the one hydrogen it becomes cl dash ch2 c double bond oxygen single bond oxygen okay single bond oxygen is there but remember well even here also resonance is possible here also resonance is possible no problem but one additional factor one additional factor is there here methyl group is attached here methyl group is attached isn't it methyl group is attached but here there is a chlorine is attached okay chlorine is attached and if you observe the inductive effect which we have already studied that this chlorine shows this chlorine shows minus i effect and this methyl shows plus i inductive effect chlorine shows minus i effect that is it withdraws the electron density ya oxygen varti charge density jitki disperse jast hoil jitki teji stability vadnar jitki teji stability vadnar pan ithe resonance madhe dispersion je hai ya oxygen varti ya oxygen varti he doni case madhe equal hai doni case madhe equal hai but one more factor additional factor that this cl minus is shows minus i effect it withdraws the electron density and due to which some sort of electron density is decreases in o minus which gives extra stability but here there is a one methyl group is electron plus i effect it it donates the electrons it makes this anion okay more unstable more unstable so this is more stable this is this there is a monochloroacetic acid is more stable if you consider it is a suppose cl dash ch and one more cl c double bond o h so in this case two chlorine atoms are attached so there is a two minus i effect 2 minus i of chlorine and due to that 2 minus i effect of chlorine the acidic strength still increases in case of dichloroacetic acid and in last case suppose if all the carbon hydrogens are hydrogen are replaced by chlorine and c double bond o o h so in this case it becomes o minus after removing h plus here there are 3 minus i effect and due to that 3 minus i effect all the chlorine withdraws the electron density so it is most stable in this acidic acid chloroacetic acid dichloro and trichloroacetic acid trichloroacetic acid mono di and trichloroacetic acid is more stable remember because it withdraws the electron density so remember well if acidic strength at the electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group if they are attached with uh, if they are attached or they are nearest if they are nearest to acidic acidic hydrogen if the electron withdrawing groups are nearest to acidic hydrogen then remember well that factors increases the acidity 
that factors increases the acidity of that uh, acid one acidic character increases one acidic character increases and remember well if electron releasing group erg if electron releasing groups are attached one then vice versa it decreases the acidic strength same here happens electron releasing group is attached electron releasing group is attached isn't it so it is the inductive effect that is the electron withdrawing a cell तर तिथं निगेटिव्ह चार्ज जो आहे तो डिस्पर्स व्हायला पाहिजे जेवढा जास्त निगेटिव्ह चार्ज डिस्पर्स होईल तेवढा तो ऑक्सिजन त्याच्या डायरेक्टली अटॅच असणारा हायड्रोजनला रिलीज करणार बरं काय पण त्याच्यावरती जर निगेटिव्ह चार्ज वाढवला त्याच्यावरती जर निगेटिव्ह चार्ज वाढवला तर तो निगेटिव्ह असल्यामुळं ह्याला इथून बाहेर पडणारा एच प्लस जो आहे ह्या एच प्लसला तो सोडणार नाही आहे सो यू हॅव टू डिक्रीज द येस निगेटिव्ह चार्ज ऑन ऑक्सिजन देन अँड देन इट रिलीजेस ॲज अ प्रोटॉन फॉर एच प्लस सो दिस इज द इंडक्टिव्ह इफेक्ट ओके one more point in this and under inductive effect we have to consider that is the consider if one case is there suppose that is as inductive effect distance dependent effect so same example we have taken there is a distance dependent effect now see here if case is like this uh, ch3 ch ch2 and uh, ch2 c double bond o h isn't it so here we attach to suppose chlorine mm-hmm. attach to here chlorine one more point that is a well, example suppose ch3 ch2 ch ch2 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 c11 o h here suppose chlorine here suppose chlorine now in this two which one is more acidic which one is more acidic so acidic proton means this hydrogen and here hydrogen these are to the acidic proton you don't acidic proton is acidic proton release kele he acidic proton release kele tar he oxygen varti minus charge yenar he oxygen varti sudha minus charge na okay minus charge so we just have to check the in which case in which case negative charge density increases and in which case negative charge density remains as it is or decreases okay manje ahe tasa rahto decrease kiwa increase hoto just we have to compare now in this case c in this case if you consider the oxygen O minus attached with carbon and then after carbon count, if you count, then 1, 2, 3, 4th. Fourth carbon contains, that is the factor or the group, that is the electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group is attached at the fourth carbon. Isn't it? Attached at fourth carbon. But here in this case, after carbon, there is the first, first, second, third. That is the third group or third carbon contains electron withdrawing group. Okay, electron withdrawing group. So the extent of electron withdrawing, character of chlorine. Okay, chlorine from this oxygen if you consider the distance is less in this case but here distance is more so this negative charge is withdrawn in this second case this first and second second case is more effectively rather than first case so second is more acidic in nature than first case second is more acidic in nature than first case that is the inductive effect is distance the application that is the application which we studied in the geosis first lecture this is the application this is the application of inductive effect okay okay now after that inductive effect one more point that is the next fifth that is the hybridization that is the hybridization now as far as hybridization is concerned hybridization is concerned now remember well just if you consider that the acidic proton means those protons or hydrogen which is attached with electron negative atoms so isn't it but not always it is attached with electronegative atom always it is attached with electronegative atom if they ask a question like this suppose it is the ch3 dash ch3 ch2 double bond ch2 ch triple bond ch from this from this first second and third which one is more acidic which one is more acidic or which of these cases contains more acidic proton more acidic proton isn't it now for that purpose first we have to consider the hybridization state this carbon both carbon this carbon is in the sp3 hybridization state this carbon is in the sp2 hybridized state and this carbon is in the sp hybridized state okay how to identify num- uh, hybridization state of uh, carbon atom number of sigma bond plus pi electrons okay number of sigma bond plus lone pair of electrons not pi number of sigma bond plus lone pair of electrons okay we can easily identify either sp3 sp2 or sp hybridized carbon now here if you consider the hybridization the percentage of s character percentage of s character if you observe if you observe percentage of s character here the s orbital is less as compared with the p p orbitals are three orbitals but one is only s here p orbital is two 
but one contribution from S. Here, P orbital and S orbitals are 50-50%. So, we can say it is a SP hybridization con contains 50% of S, 50% uh, S character. It is less in case of SP2. It is near about 33%. It is near about 33% and 25% is observed in case of it is the SP3 hybridized. So, remember well, as percentage of S character increases, electronegativity of that atom also goes on increases. As percentage of S character increases, electronegativity of atom also that increases one. So, if you consider the electronegativity order, electronegativity order, SP hybridized carbon is more electronegative than SP2 hybridized carbon than SP3 hybridized carbon. Okay, electronegativity. So, the high electronegativity increases because S orbital is very closest to that of the nucleus one. And S or orbitals means electrons from S orbitals are as close to the nucleus one. So, there is pull of the nucleus on the that uh, electrons from S orbital is more. That's why uh, there is a electronegativity is more in case of SP, less SP2 and then SP3. So, in this case, there is the order of acidic hydrogen is like this. Like this one. That is a triple bond system. That is the SP hybridized carbon is more electronegative. That's why when it uh, donates, removes proton, it becomes negative. In this case, CH negative. In this case, CH2 negative one. So, in all these cases, all these cases, carbon is there. But which one is more electronegative? This triple bond system is more electronegative. Then it's double, then first. So this is the order. This is the order. Okay. So, hope you understand all these things, factors that determines the stability. Okay. So, just, uh, we are just going to con clear concept first one. Okay, concept first one, one by one. Okay, acidic hydrogen. In next uh, period, we are going to discuss the acidic hydrogen, strength of acidic hydrogen in aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. And then we are going to uh, cover examples only, depending upon all these things. Okay, hope you understand all these things. Okay, good day.